conversation with this fella about my taste in his women. Well, 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 if it isn't little Miss Copycat. Yep, that's me, Chaka, and I really want to copy you right now, but I'm pretty sure the immature loser quota in this room has already been filled. Hey now, I didn't steal your secret move or whatever. Fruity, would you please tell Mecca how annoying it is when she copies people? You mean like how she wore that busted-ass green sweater the day after you wore it to Kelly Cooper's party? Fruity! You wore that sweater before you gave it to me? That was a birthday present. But Mecca, you said it was... What was the word? Hideous? Uh, you told me you loved it! And then you told me that you should have kept it because Mecca was too fat to worry. Uh, no, I... Fruity, you are not helping here. Excuse me. How many of these photos can you fit on a page? Hmm, I'd say four, or else you won't be able to make out the writing on these protest signs. Does that say onion? No, it's union. Uh, um, did you? I mean, where did you find that? What are you doing? Oh, uh, I was, I was just, you see, that, that t-shirt looks familiar and... Oh, God, men are such animals. What a lame excuse. I saw you staring at my breasts. No, that's, I swear, that's not what I was... Where did you get the t-shirt? I gotta know. Did you see a Cookie Monster pillow? Expect a boycott, pig. By the way, I didn't want to tell you this this morning, but you missed a spot. What are you talking about? I mean, there's still hair down there. There is not. Fine, don't believe me. I don't have to not believe you. I can check right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Mecca, they're not here. They're not here. Oh, what if someone saw me drop them? They'll know it's me. Oh, what if they post them on the internet and every night thousands of little cyber geeks can log on to hornyloser.com and stare at me while they... Oh, what if... Oh, what if some hip young artist finds them and decides to use them in his new exhibit? And then the whole city starts raving about how daring his art is? And the artist guy tracks me down? And we go in over together? Well, okay, so that one wouldn't be so bad. But the other stuff, Mecca, I know you hate me right now, but you gotta help me get those pictures back. But if we both look for the pictures, then you'll just accuse me of copying. Uh, no, no thanks. I won't, I won't, I swear, I promise. Look, look, I'm really sorry about today, but I'm totally desperate here. Fine, but I'm still mad at you. Okay, fine, fair enough. Are we still buds, though? Of course. Great, now let's go get those pictures back. I know it was my t-shirt. I recognized the blueberry Pop-Tart stain. So what's the big deal? You're better off without all that stuff. I don't know. I feel exposed. Like everyone on the street knows my innermost secrets. Alex, your innermost secrets aren't even worth knowing. Hey, copy man. Hey, Jen. Hey, Goat. Check out this vintage bong I just scored. That's not a bong. That's my rocket. Where'd you get that? Uh, hey, chill out, man. It's the last one. Yeah, yeah, but where did you get it? Down on Avenue A, man. Some old dude has a whole load of crap lying out on a blanket over there. Great. Jen, Goat, I'm out of here. Say, you didn't happen to see a little blue monster, did you? Well, not yet, but uh, check back with me later. Great. That's an heirloom. The French Minister of the Exterior awarded it to my grandfather back in World War II. What are you talking about? This is my blue ribbon for spelling. Ten dollars. Ten dollars? I threw this out two days ago. Hands up. Five-o, -oh, coming this way. Get off my stuff. Come on. Go, go, go. Let's get out of here. Wait. Wait. Oh. What else can we do? We've searched the entire school. Let me see your book one more time. Fine, but... Chaka, this isn't even your book. What? It's Fruities. Oh, thank God, I thought I was going crazy. Wait a minute. If I have Fruity's book, then that means... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to throw up. Puke on the way, because we got to go find Fruity. Where do you think Fruity is? I don't know. Maybe he's at Starbase 12 with Matt. Hey, Alex. Have you seen Fruity around? Uh, no. But did a bunch of hairy guys with blankets come this way? Uh, no. What, are you looking for something? Uh, no. Are you? Yeah, Chaka took these pe- Ow. Well, we gotta go. N not that we're looking for anything, or anything. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, no, me neither. I... Well, bye. There he is. Oh, damn. 
Where did you get this? Hey, you owe me 10 bucks. Okay, okay. I'll give you 10 bucks if you tell me where this came from. I uh, traded with Louis four blankets down. I gave him a deck of girly cards. You know, this is all my stuff. Are you saying I'm a thief? No, no, of course not. How much for everything? A Boss Hog cookie jar? Man, I've been looking for one of these for years. You passed the ball, man. All right, here it comes, here it comes. Look! All right, um, I'll distract him, and you go look in his backpack. Hey, Fruity! What's up, chicky baby? What you up to? I'm just chilling. What are you up to? You know, showing some moves to my boys over here. Hey, calm down, ladies. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, I'm sure you got lots to show your boys. Hey, you ain't kidding. Because you got the goods, right? That's right. I got the skills to pay the bills. <laughs> Yo, shut up. Hey, what about later we? I got to go. Ah, simmer down, ladies. Did you get it? Chaka, the closest thing to a book in that backpack was a copy of PlayStation Magazine. Crap! Do you think he's seen the pictures? I don't know. I was egging him on to see if he'd say anything, but he didn't. He's such a sneaky bastard. He'd probably hold on to something like that until the time was perfect to wreck my life. Maybe he just left it in his locker. He never studies. I hope so. I guess I'll just have to snag the book before class tomorrow. Tomorrow? What do we do till then? I'm gonna go buy some moisturizer. All this running around's got me chafing in places I've never chafed before. Well, it's nice to see that the National Crap Museum has been fully restored to its prior splendor. Ooh, and I see some new exhibits have been added to the permanent collection. I guess I got a little carried away. Did you ever think that all this junk is merely a crutch to fill the empty void that has become your life? Hmm. I could say the same thing about your dry wit and sarcastic remarks. Ouch! All right, meow. I'll back off. So, any luck in finding your whoopee? Nope. And I checked out every vendor in the East Village. I'm sorry, kiddo. Maybe it's for the best. Yeah. I know I should move on, but I can't. I feel like I've lost a piece of myself. I know completely how you feel. You do? Yeah. It's exactly how I felt when the A-Team went off the air. If you're gonna make jokes, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, okay, but Alex, you know the story. You know I only rip on you because my low self-esteem makes me incapable of expressing any sort of sincere emotion, right? Get out, Jen. You lost your whoopee. I lost Mr. T and Hannibal. Whoa, Chaka, you look like hell. Oh, thank you. Did you get the book back? No. Fruity hasn't shown up yet. All right. Let's continue with the oral reports. Ah, and here's our first volunteer of the day. No problem. By the way, may I say thank you, sir? <clears throat> What's up, Lucy? My report is about the economic effects of slash and burn agriculture on South American rainforests. Slash and burn agriculture occurs when farmers chop away at thick, bushy, overgrown patches of foliage. He knows. Foliage he definitely knows. Maybe he doesn't. It's just a report. Atmosphere. I have some pictures here which will show you just how devastating this process is. Hi, um, does Alex Henson live here? Yeah, I'm Alex. Oh. Is something the matter? <laughs> No, no, it, it's just that, well, I found this on the street, and it had your name on it. Well, I called the number, and your mom told me you lived here now. Well, I just assumed that, you know, it belonged to someone a little... Younger? Yeah, younger. Well, it's been in my closet for years, and I was cleaning the place well, out. you know, I collect this kind of stuff myself. I've got a Grover coffee mug, a Snuffleupagus lamp. Oh, God. I must sound like such a dork. No, I think that's great. You know, when I was a kid, that wo that that pillow was my most prized possession. Oh, that is so cute. Really? Totally. Well, I'm glad I found you. Uh, you know what? You keep it for your collection. No. Yeah, go ahead. Really? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 